Good morning, Rosewood Wildcats students, staff, and parents. I hope that you had a wonderful spring break with your family and had a great Easter weekend enjoying the sunshine. And now the weather has changed, and that's, I guess, part of living in Michigan. Well, I just wanted to welcome you back and wish you all a wonderful week as we prepare for our remote learning plans this week in Jenison. Just so that you know, if you have not been on the remote plans, you can go to the Jenison Public Schools website. And on the website, we have a special link there that has the elementary remote learning plans that you can go to and get your plan for the week. We kept it very simple, very basic, and hopefully very accessible for you to work on this week. Also, there's going to be some changes that will be taking place. All teachers will be sending out an email with some office hours. And these office hours are times where... You can go and, and ask questions. Students can ask questions to their teachers of something that they're struggling with or maybe they need a little more help on. And teachers are putting together office hours uh, twice a week, so they'll have them at different times where kids can pop into Zoom meetings and get some extra help. But always remember you can feel free to email your teachers and they will be glad to help you in any way that you can. So these office hours are times for academic help. They're not the Zoom meetings that we get together for relationship times, but they're just times to get some extra academic help. Teachers will also be still having some Zoom meetings with the classes as a relational time, and that's a great time for your kids to pop on to a Zoom meeting and to get to see their classmates and talk about some things that are going on in their life. So I also wanted to bring back and mention that we are still having breakfast and lunches being served. If you are in need of some breakfast and lunch, you can go from 11 to 12 on Mondays and Wednesdays. And you can take a look on the Jenison website as well. But the locations are Bowerwood, Bursley, Sandy Hill, and Jenison High School. You just drive up, you grab your lunch, they give you some extra food um, for Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Fridays as well. And if you do not live in the Jenison School District, you can take a look at your school district that you live in, and they are also passing out some food assistance as well. So feel free to stop on by and pick up some lunches if you are in need. Also, there are some emergency food um, distribution locations that are available as well um, in Hudsonville, Granville, and Jenison. So take a look. We have Grace Community Church, Fellowship, CRC, and Sunrise Ministries and the different times that you can go if you are in need of some food. So please feel free to always reach out to me as well, and we will do our best to make sure that your family is taken care of. We are also this week going to be having a uh, parent pickup time where you can come and pick up some packets where it's not online learning. They're going to be um, in our school office entrance area. Uh, they're booklets that have uh, math and reading and they're just some supplemental um, opportunities for your kids to work on some actual worksheet portions. And with these they have uh, parent answer keys so that you can help them um, as well as you as they work through that. So those math and reading paper booklets can be picked up this Wednesday, this Wednesday from 2 to 3, 2 to 3 in the office entrance, and Thursday from 9 to 10 in the morning. So what we have is we have math and reading paper packets if you would like them. Um, once again, they do not replace our remote learning plans that are online because that's our main work. And we're going to abide by the um, COVID-19 social distancing rules. So we'll ask that only one person is in that office entrance way at a time. You come in, if you have three students, say you have a kindergartner, a third grader, and a fifth grader, you come in, you just choose one packet for the kindergartner, one packet for the third grader, and then one for the fifth grader, and then you can go ahead and be on your way. It's just some extra work that we wanted to provide for you uh, that's not necessarily online. So once again, that's Wednesday from 2 to 3, and then Thursday from 9 to 10 in the morning, and I will be here. Um, it's also a chance if you had some extra meds that were left, maybe there's an inhaler, there's there's an EpiPen, um, some medications that's still in the office. That's a time that you can pick those up as well. So we'll abide by all the social distancing. Once again, one person in the office at a time. 
Boys and girls, I just wanted to let you know that we miss you very much. We, I know I've been popping in on a lot of your Zoom meetings just to say hi, and uh, we've just enjoyed um, getting to see many of you with Zoom, and we look forward to that time when we get to see you again in person. Um, your teachers have been working very hard trying to get things ready and putting together plans and making time to help you. So if you need help through this time at any time, please reach out to your teacher. They'll be glad to, to assist you with anything that you need help with. And always you can reach out to me as well. I know there's been some technology needs. Uh, we're going to be working on that this next couple of days and getting some technology to our most neediest families. And we'll get those out to you as well. And I'll be contacting some families that have asked about that. So with that, that is all that I have this morning. I just wanted to stop in and say hi as I'm still at school here working. And I wanted to uh, let you know that it's really quiet around here. And I miss, the, uh, I miss the, the students walking the hallways and the teachers in the rooms. And we will uh, continue to work hard and continue to do everything that we're doing. Parents, this message is for you. I know things are difficult with trying to, many of you work from home, many of you trying to uh, do your own work and also trying to educate your kids. And I hear you. I mean, my wife and I are both educators. We're both trying to work and it can be very difficult. But I want you to know that you're doing a wonderful job and continue to do the best that you can and give yourself some grace and know that we appreciate you and and your help that you are providing with us. And everything will be okay, our kids will be fine, and uh, we just know that, that you are doing your best and we appreciate everything that you're doing to help Rosewood and to help your students um, to, do, to achieve what they need to achieve. So with that, everyone, I hope that you have a wonderful first week back from spring break. And we look forward to meeting with you and we look forward to popping in on some Zoom meetings and staying connected. So have a wonderful week. We'll talk to you soon.